Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Dogs are teaching machines to sniff out cancer. The idea of using dogs' noses to detect the scent of human cancer has been around for decades, and researchers have even tried building machines to do the job, but none have been able to match the sensitivity of man's best friend. Rather than try to compete with evolution, scientists decided to bring in the experts. In a proof of concept study, researchers used dogs to train a machine learning algorithm to detect prostate cancer the second most common cancer in men. Because the study included a small number of samples, from 50 men, of whom only 12 had a positive biopsy, the dogs didn't achieve the sensitivity and specificity that other canines have been able to, but it's a promising first step, according to Mark Abreville, a professor of image understanding and it's really interdisciplinary what they're doing and that's kind of cool, he says. I think the method is sound. Dot, dot. But I would really have loved to see more samples and better proof that this really works with machine learning. Florin, a trained cancer detection dog, sniffs a urine sample. Neil Pollock, medical detection dog's new understanding of metastasis could lead to better treatments in 2013. Memorial Sloan Kettering cancer biologist Adrienne Boire had an encounter with a patient that would dictate the course of her career. The woman had very basic questions about how and why her cancer had spread into her spinal fluid, and Boire realized she couldn't answer them. Indeed, many questions remain about how exactly cancer cells are able to colonize and proliferate inside new tissues, a process called metastasis. But in the years since, Boire and others have learned some of the answers. Rather than a late stage of cancer, Metastasis is now considered to be a complex process that can begin much earlier, and scientists have also found that cancer cells can sometimes lie dormant for years before awakening. Fact. Ideally, Boar says, researchers will develop ways to dampen metastasis completely, putting me and my clinic out of business. Dot, dot, dot. It would be really lovely to not have any more patients to treat. See full infographic. Web cancer cells parasitize other ones to survive. Study tumor cells are known for their impressive heterogeneity. It's a major challenge for cancer treatments, as each cell may be slightly different from its. Researchers at the University of Minnesota found that cancer cells lacking a DNA repair protein complex called the Ku complex became parasitic, attacking neighboring tumor cells to access their cytoplasmic material. Beyond that, the parasites sometimes entered other cells and remained inside, intact, before exiting later on. This, says molecular biologist and study co-author Nurten Sadam, may allow cancerous cells to adapt to genetic stresses in their microenvironment and ultimately metastasize. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.